Okay, so we're back in North Stoke uh, at this uh, marvellous old Saxon church. Uh, we're going to have a look at some uh, of Roy McManus's whistles uh, today and I've got the Oz whistle, which is um, our benchmark, uh, to kind of not compare them but just to give you an idea how um, they can vary um, in the woods, in the build. Uh, the build, uh, as far as I'm concerned, uh, is uh, match perfect to the Oz whistle, but you're going to get different tones and different vibes from each whistle. So this is the Oz whistle, this is a Gigi, um, the, uh, the best whistle in the world that we've often uh, mentioned. Uh, this is what this sounds like in the church. crisp, bright sound. It's lovely, uh, well in tune with itself. Um, beautiful build, as we've always said. Uh, so what we're going to go on to now is um, the Roy McManus uh, Coca Bola. Um, this is a slightly more, it's a, a narrow bore, and uh, we'll give it a blow. First thing I notice is it's slightly more breathy. It's got a kind of a, a little bit of a rasp on it. It's uh, very sweet. It doesn't take so much air, so you've got a, a good back pressure on it. And um, yeah, it plays really well. It's a slightly thinner sound, obviously, than the Oz whistle, which is slightly bigger bore. Um, but um, if you like your, what I call a pencil sound, a thinner or more traditional sound, So you can't fault the build, absolutely spot on with the build. We'll move along now to, um, I think it's a holly, which is a, a very light, there's absolutely no weight in this at all. Um, it's, uh, it's got uh, some gold fittings, I think they're brass, and this is what it sounds like. I'll just play the same tune again. First impressions, very light, very nice to play. It absolutely sings. You need no air at all. It's, um, it doesn't have any fizz. It's got just a very pure, light tone. 
um, beautifully in tune with itself and um, it's actually a very interesting pale wood. I've never played a, a Hollywood whistle before. Hollywood whistles, oh, no, everything. So we're going to move on to um, the last of the uh, Royal McManus whistles. It's a non-tunable um, snakewood uh, big bore. This is kind of uh, resembles the kind of uh, big bore whistle that we make, uh, the Chieftain Mezzo Lodi. And um, it's, uh, it's really, it's a very interesting wood. I'll try and give you a close up, if you can see that. Maybe not. But um, it's, it's, it's snake wood. It, it looks like a snake, but uh, we'll see what it sounds like. Same tune again. Take a bit of it, uh, take a bit. They take a bit of getting used to, and uh, this is no exception. But this is, um, it does take a bit more air. It's, but it's, it's very responsive. It's a much fatter sound, and it, uh, it's out of the three. I think it's my favourite because I like to blow a little bit more. Um, if you're a, if you, if you're a low whistler, the, the large bore um, whistle is definitely a must. Um, it's the sort of, this is definitely a whistle I would really like to sort of spend some more time with. And um, it just has a, it's, it's got depth to it and I've only had it a little while, a few hours, and I'm just kind of now starting to feel it's, um, what it can do. It doesn't shriek in the top. It does, it has a nice rounded tone. And it's nicely balanced uh, within the, um, the volume between the lower octave and the upper octave. So um, it really doesn't screech. And a lot of um, big bore whistles can be absolutely overpowered, but this seems to have a kind of natural compression. Um, a Spanish olive uh, McManus whistle and um, I'll try something different. It takes absolutely no air, it's got fabulous back pressure, and it sort of plays itself, like it's very hard to describe, you, you can't really make mistakes on this, it's got that kind of ability to make you feel very, very at one with it instantly, and I've only played this for about two minutes, and um, so I don't know how much wood of, uh, he's got of this, but Spanish olive. Um, I 
mean, it might be worth sort of buying half a dozen different types of whistles from Roy um, because everyone is different. And this is, I was been talking to him earlier, and uh, every whistle has its own characteristics. So you could probably um, take half a dozen whistles of different woods and everyone's going to be absolutely different. Uh, so um, Spanish olive, light as a feather, like a bit like the holly, this one. So you've got very light woods, but there's something about light wood rather than the heavier um, dark woods. It, it gives you uh, compression, it gives you a sweetness in the tone, as you have heard, and um, totally recommended. What I've got here is a prototype um, from Roy McManus. It's a uh, Delrin top with a what looks like a bit of copper tube, and that's what it looks like. But it has uh, the playability and the sound and the tone of a very expensive whistle. And uh, this is what it sounds like.